we, uh, good morning. It's Saturday morning and um, we are taking a walk. Or we're taking more of a sniff than a walk, it seems like, but uh, we have to move this big armoire first because it's in the way they won't be able to fit through there. So yeah, I thought we'd get a quick walk in first and um, enjoy our day the best we can and then hopefully I'll have a new washer and dryer. Yay! Sorry for the bounciness I'm walking. Gracie, what do you think of all that? Great. We got Willard, we've got Georgia, and we've got Esperanza. Hi, what are you doing outside your stall? Is it closed? No, it's open. Lucroy Brat, your favorite, your best friend. Lucroy Brat. Oh, Georgia. Georgia girl. Georgia, hi, Willard. Oh my gosh, she just pushed him away. Hi, sweetheart. Goodness, oh my goodness. It's Esperanza, Gracie. Okay, we just went to see Esperanza real quick too and to give her some fly spray because the bugs are driving her bananas. Hi, Gracie. And um, I got a call about my washer and dryer coming. It's not even close to being two o'clock yet and they said between two and six, but they'd give us a 30 minute warning. Well, he called and said, is it okay if we can take delivery within the next 30 minutes? So we quickly jumped in the car and hightailed it home um, after giving her some water and so forth, Esperanza. So we are home now. They should be here within about 20 minutes. And now we gotta quickly move that giant armoire. So, yikes. I'm excited though. Okay, this is the thing that we gotta move real quick because they have to be able to get through this little space to get to the washer and dryer area. So we put some things in there to be able to slide it across this floor and remove the rugs. So we're gonna to try to slide it out this door and uh, yeah, out of the way, we'll see. I made some blueberry tea bread, gluten-free, um, yesterday. I made two loaves, thank goodness, because I made it, gosh, yesterday afternoon and one loaf is already completely gone and I have another one. And I gotta tell you, this is amazing. So I'm gonna have to show you guys how to make this sometime because it's so good. It's not the simplest recipe. It's not hard by any means, but you just use a lot of bowls and you know, you feel like your kitchen's destroyed when it's done, but it's worth it. So anyway, I'll show you the one that we have left still. Here's the second one, but it's so good and it's so moist. I mean, very, very moist and just the blueberries are so sweet. Oh my gosh, it's got like a cinnamon sugar crumble on top. Amazingly good. It's not even like a gluten-free recipe. It's just uh, my regular recipe that I make with gluten-free flour. Okay, it's this. I buy it in bulk. This is the flour. It's called um, Baking Free. All-purpose flour, just cup for cup normally, like you would any flour from any of your normal recipes, and it turns out great. So yeah, that is good stuff. And now we wait. Excited. I think it's here. Yay, my washer and dryer. Okay, here it is. My washer and dryer are in there. I'm extremely excited. They're enormous, so they've taken up a little bit more space, so we're working on figuring all that out. But here's the general thing. It's not completely finished decor-wise and so forth, but 
Here is the general deal of the new laundry room situation. So here we go. Okay, that's the kitchen. First of all, I wanna explain that in my kitchen, I have black, I have this off-white, and I have browns. Um, it's just how my kitchen has been designed, so we have all of those in there. So we decided to try to incorporate that in this. So let me get the light to come back on again. Okay, so the cabinets were that brown color. I'll try to find some before pictures here. But we decided to do the bottoms black and the tops that off-white color. At first we thought that would look really weird, but, and then with the browns too, because we have the browns. So it's kind of a similar, similar idea to what we have going on in the kitchen. Um, I like it. At first I thought it would be weird, but I personally like it. Got these rugs, um, just to kind of protect and so forth. Gracie's bowl of water and food bowl are right there at the moment. That door just goes out to the patio. We never use it, like ever. This is storage, and um, I've cleaned all that out, and it's all nice. Like I have my candle supply and things like that in here. Um, yeah, just good stuff, so it's fun. Just make sure I've got everything organized nicely, some extra, extra things in there. Clean out all the drawers. But basically this is that area. And I do want to, see it goes all the way up. I do want to get maybe something to put up there on the wall, I'm not sure what, it's not necessary, but there it is. And that's just like a wood beam that goes across and goes all the way through into the kitchen and across the kitchen too. So there's that area. So on that, we keep our printer and um, extra printer paper and so forth in here. So everything we need for printing is right there, the ink and the paper and everything. So it's kind of centrally located and easy. And then those just have things in them, and that's the puppy cabinet with all the different foods and toys and leashes and whatnot. Yeah, so there's that section. The granite, which is kind of the catalyst to the whole thing, uh, is like grays, blacks, creams, and browns. So, yeah, stick in with that. Now, over here is the sink area. And again, this has just been reorganized, you know, making sure we've got all of our cleaners and so forth is all there. You know, extra stuff, whatever. In the sink, paper towel, soap, candle. Got a garbage thing under here, trash can, just extra storage. And this is the best thing ever, this battery organizer. So you always know you have batteries and which ones you've got. Love that thing. Okay, so there's that. That's the, like I said, the door to the patio. And then we got this back in, lovely. In here, I have some extra appliances like crock pots and things, plus um, like extra toilet paper and tissues and uh, paper towel and all paper product kind of things. That's what I have in there. I'm gonna organize it better inside. It's kind of a mess right now. And I put another rug here. Since this is such a, like a, I want to say not shallow, narrow place. Didn't know what this would look like, but there really nothing, it was nothing else that would fit very well and still kind of cover. So I did these, my little runways. And then there's this section here. So we have these cabinets. And then my washer and dryer, which are enormous. I'm so excited about it. Like I can wash my king size comforters and things in there easily. Still learning how to get those to use. We also need to go to Home Depot today and pick up this, this thing that we need to connect the steam for the dryer. I went with a top load. Um, I just really like top loads better. I don't like to deal with having to leave that door open and the, the funk that you get, the, the wetness accumulates in that dip of whatever. So I just, I really like top loaders. Wanted to go back to, you know, make sure I had that again. Not go back to, I've never had the other, but I've he heard so many people just hate the whole deal, so I didn't want to deal with it. Gigantic dryer. So yeah, and it's got the steam function. I'm really excited about that. And it has a rack that you can install across there. Um, for like tennis shoes and things so it can dry the tennis shoes without them going bing bang boom bum boom And this is the extra refrigerator for just extra drinks and extra, you know things for when we're having people over or whatever And freezer This is a closet where we keep our vacuum flow and a couple other random cleaning things Here in this little crevice 
between the armoire and the closet, I keep my Dyson sucker upper and little vacuum stick thing. Easy grab, just nice. Don't have to do the vacuum flow every time I want to grab just a little bit off the floor. Our Amsterdam picture. <laughs> and then these shelves, we have this section back here that was just kind of not being used for anything. And I have appliances I don't use very often, like the deep fryer. It takes up so much space. And my juicer can be right here, which just comes with these other things. And behind there I have empty boxes for when I send things for Poshmark or whatever like that. And I haven't decided what to do with the top and the bottom yet, so I'm going to make that more attractive. But at least we've got those shelves in there now, which is nice. So, that's the deal. This is where I'll be doing my laundry. I also want to put something maybe on this section right there for decoration. So yay, I was so excited. It's weird to be so excited about laundry. But um, yeah, it makes me want to go jump and find some things and strip my bed and wash all my comforters. And yeah, so that's what I'll be doing as soon as we get that steam thing too set up, which should probably happen a little bit later um, this afternoon. We'll probably get that taken care of. Uh, so yeah, I finally got it and I'm so excited. Yay! This month's bark box just came. Let's see what's in it this time. They always have a theme. Okay. Cute, cute. Looks like bugs or something. Secrets of the rainforest. Rainforest. How cute. Oh gosh. They must have a blast coming up with these themes. Bark of the wild. Pork and vegetable blend, soft and chewy. Treats. Bark of the Wild Chicken Blend, Soft and Chewy Treats. Oh, this is interesting. Oh my gosh, it looks like a frog. Can you see that? Dozers. Gluten-free dental health. It looks like a toad or a frog. Oh my gosh. It's like a hollow chewer thing. <clears throat> oh dear, we have a sloth. <laughs> It's a sloth with crinkly arms. I just got, got a squeak. Oh my god, it's a sloth. <laughs> so cute. And what? Is, oh my gosh, it's an ant eater. Look at this. It's an ant eater who's eating an ant. Oh my god, a red ant. Oh my gosh. Crinkle tail. <laughs> this guy has a squeak too. Anita the Anteater. <laughs> and what's the sloth's name? Let's find out. Three Toed Monty. <laughs> I get such a ridiculous thrill out of this, I can't even tell you. <laughs> the Bark Box is like happy times for me more than anything else. Um, but yeah, cool. So that's what's in the Bark Box. I like them a lot. So if you have a puppy, you can choose which size your puppy, it, your dog is too. And they give, you know, bigger, heavier products to the dogs who chew things up faster and so forth. But since we have a little dog, we get the little box. So yeah, it's enjoyable. You should try it. It's, it's a good time. <laughs> I'll link it below if you don't know what I'm talking about. Well, the day completely got away from me. Um, just got busy doing all sorts of weird things and doing laundry because I can in my new laundry <laughs> set. So um, that's all there really is to the day. I made some dinner and we just ate and watched a TV show while we were eating. Sounded fun. And I just did all the dishes and sitting down at my desk checking emails and you know, thought I'd say goodbye. And I want you guys to have a nice day. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye.